Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies a Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. Say that five times fast. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Now anyway, so today we are going to be taking a look, continuing on with the model kits that both my dad and myself have built. And here we have the AMT 1927 Ford Model T. Now I did this one as an Expo 86 car, but I'll tell you more about that as we go down to our bench right now and check out this amazing little model car. Here on my Lazy Susan, operated by my fingers, is the 1927 Ford Model T kit. And I've replaced the original windshield with the Ravel Lil John Botira's 1927 T Touring kit, just because I like the little etched on flowers that are up in here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Now you'll notice on the side I've got these Expo 86 decals. Well, there's one decal. This is actually like a little button with a glue on the back showing the Science World or Science Center back in the day. And as I rotate this around, you'll also note that I've added in 1927 to 1986 using Star Trek letters on the back of the spare tire cover. Now this is uh, quite an interesting little model I made back in Expo 86, which took place in British Columbia. Now the actual black paint is underneath this decal and underneath on the door and I had to paint around it because it was looking pretty awful. So I used a brush on here just to touch it up maybe about a decade ago. Now I can lift the hood up here and just as I rotate it around you can see the Model T engine in here. This has got the buzz box which is actually the uh, coil up on the top and again very nice simple model. So I can bring this up into the camera here just to show you some more close-ups. So here we've got the exhaust side of the Model T engine and you can see the updraft carburetor sitting down in here. And then this box would have wires going to each of the points. The uh, magneto and all that jazz is inside there. Then as I rotate it around, you can see from this side, we've got some radiator hoses going down to the bottom and whatnot. And then here you can see the gauges. There's the little flowers on the glass. Oops, you can see them just on the edge there. And then the nice seats we've got in there. So again, quite a nice model. Now this is the uh, model, the other Model T that Laurel and Hardy would have gone into. Uh, as you can see in this picture here. Now here we have our 1927 Model T from underneath. Now one thing, I did not paint the exhaust pipe when I was a kid. I built it, well like I said, this is built around 1986 and sort of retouched in the early 90s. Um, underneath here we've got our Ford suspension as well as the Model T engine and transmission pan as one piece. So again, just by bringing this closer into the camera, you can see the uh, job underneath there. Looks not bad. I mean, I should paint that muffler one of these days. <laughs> but again, pretty cool. Look at the uh, Michigan license plate back here. That's actually etched into the plastic. So if you wanted to replace it, you'd just glue something over the top. I should get a British Columbia license plate on there from Expo 86. One thing that's kind of interesting about this is because it's a Expo 86, it's got all the Expo 86 decals on the side, I couldn't really display this in the upcoming museum in the 20s. I'd have to build something in the 80s for Expo 86 and just have this in there as a parade car. But uh, AMT still makes that police version of this, which is currently available, as you can see in the video that's going to just scroll across up here. So if you want to check out a review of that police car, it's the exact same kit. So again, a really nice build from AMT. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at our Ford 1927 Model T. And remember that this kit is still available by Round 2 as a police car version, and that at one point in time, Laurel and Hardy was in this model. Now, if you want to see what model kits that we have for sale, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. It's a really cool web store. I can ship all the way around the world, even to America. 
which is always awesome, right? Anyway, we're north of the border up in Canada, but like I say, we can ship down. And because our dollar is lower than the US, you actually get a really good smoking deal. Anyway, just uh, go to the store, contact me, and I'll fill you in on more details. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a good thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. And we'd sure love to see your models over on our Facebook page.